Hello, hello, and welcome back to Underlings. Our, uh, our crops are pretty much all grown. There's a couple left here that have been taking a while, and uh, I didn't really want to wait around any longer. I haven't really done much in between this time. I really only let these grow. Um, but on the note of food, before we harvest, as I mentioned, we will. Yeah, this does seem to be bugged. Um, like, I haven't confirmed it, but... I mean, it is confirmed the fact that we started this dropping by 0 0.8, then it was at 1.6, and now you'll see here it's dropping by 2.4. So this overall is just dropping ridiculously fast. Um, I've just been letting myself die rather than eating um, while waiting for this. Which you'll see, it's actually taken a little bit to have this grow. Um, but it really is hard to gauge things because of that. Like, it's, it's just plowing down so fast. Like, I think... To grow these up I've died like maybe four or five times so it's pretty bad um, I also picked a bunch of these but we unfortunately got quite a bad return rate so our supplies down there uh, where's our little sheep friend is that him okay yeah there he is <laughs> okay I was wondering where he went um, uh, but yeah, so today we will be doing the harvest and I want to do a couple things around the base, just some minor stuff, move a few things and that. And then yeah, we're going to head out, um, do a bunch of resource gathering, like flowers, vines, pretty much anything you can pick on the ground we will be taking. So we'll, we'll probably go as minimal as possible here. Um, I don't think we'll take any tools. Um, like, I think we may avoid these just because although I want iron and things, I think we're better off to treat those trips separately. And so it may be best to avoid those. Um, yeah, I think that'll probably be the way to go because the inventory is just not really big enough, you know. Um, I wouldn't mind making a waypoint before we go, but I don't know if we have enough stuff. What was they? Uh, eight and four. I think we only have three left, don't we? I think we uh oh no okay well, let's make one waypoint just while we before we do that yeah i think that'd be good because uh that way if we find a village or anything particularly interesting we can put it down and uh yeah i don't know if we can reuse them in the future like i assume like most things you can knock them down which could be a good way to say like if we find um a good mining spot while we're out today we could mark it come back later do the mining pick up the waypoint and you know sort of do it like that uh, but yeah let's get the harvesting i'm just gonna quickly sit this up with our tools um i guess we're just gonna have to sort of fight through this today unfortunately which means we're gonna waste a lot of food um, at least while we're out and about otherwise i may just die like i said i didn't want to do that but this is sort of you know i don't know we'll see what we end up with here because um i think uh how are we doing i think it's only two so this should be able to give us a good idea of things. So um, I think I want to start with these and I want to sort of make sure we watch actually how many we're getting. Um, so we can like compare it to, I think, uh, I don't remember how much they heal, but the main comparison I want to do is watermelon, pumpkin and carrots uh, to see the type of yield we get. Because these only give two a piece. Uh, these give eight and they give, uh, sorry, they give 10, they give two, they give eight uh, in terms of food. So anyway, let's see how we go. And whew, that's already bad. Like if you are, if you can get as low as two, and they only heal two health. Oh, okay, we got five on that one. Four on that one. And three on that one. That's still pretty bad though, isn't it? And we got a seed back on each, didn't we? Yeah, we only was it. Yeah, I don't think that was a. Wait, was there six? Oh, I don't even know now, uh, but we're gonna have to eat them. But yeah, so they don't seem like they're worthwhile. Like it's just too low health. I don't know if there's like a crafting recipe or you can cook with them maybe, or like that might make it more worth it. But like that, I would have to say not. Um, all right, so let's check the pumpkins. We have three, which they do give 10, right? I'm not mistaken on that. Yeah. And we got two seeds off that one. So that, that was only one. So that's uh, another one and four there. Wow. All right. But then that's, yeah, even one of those is the same as five bits of watermelon. So that's, yeah, that's really not very good. Um, 
And yeah, this is one thing I was concerned about here with reading that patch. Oh shit. Oh crap, I didn't... Oh shit. That's not good. I didn't realize. Oh wow, that can knock up stuff and everything. Um, we aren't at all prepared to deal with this. Crap. We're just going to have to lead this away from the base. Um, it could cause way too much destruction. Wow. Okay. Oh, I don't want it damaging that though. Uh, yeah, we'll just lead it down here, I guess. Ah, man. All right. So that, that rules out pumpkins. I mean, that's just not worth it. I thought they looked okay, but yeah, no, if this is like, this is kind of a cool thing in the game, but there's no reason why we would actually deal with this. You know, uh, carrots seem to be the winner already, possibly onions as well. But, um, yeah, as I was trying to say before this happened, I was concerned when I read the patch note about seed rates dropping, because I didn't think they were very high to begin with, or I thought they were fine. I guess I hadn't seen enough of them, but uh, I guess it would be more accurate to say I didn't think they were high specifically. Um, and you see there, we got, you know, based on what I'm seeing there, we may not end up with a positive return. And that's, um, I, I have a worry that vines are actually the same. My impression, and I need to do more to confirm, but is that basically if you always planted the same amount of vines over and over and over, like you had a patch of, you know, say 50, right? And you were always planting 50 then I believe on average you would have a positive return. But I don't think that applies um, in the way we're doing it because there's enough variance that with bad luck, you can lower your total amount enough that over time you will actually shrink your patch basically. So even if you could have the same amount every time yielding a positive return, you know, it's we don't have that many turns to sort of have it happen. I don't know if I'm articulating this very well. But yes, if you had like, you know, 100 patches of 10, on average, there would be more patches that have a positive return than not. But since we aren't working at that scale, we can have enough bad luck that actually shrinks our patch down over time. Which means that, yeah, like seaweed, they may not actually be a growing crop over time. That may get reduced. Um, it's also possible that when the patch note said seeds, it also meant saplings. Don't know for certain, but yeah, it's a possibility. So that's something we're just going to have to sort of work out over time. Um, that immediately gave me that impression from that, like that the crops aren't going to be as renewable as I was hoping, which I don't know if that's intended or an oversight, because I really think that things like crops should be renewable, like you, you know, like I think you should be guaranteed at least one seed back, just because I guess it's because, I mean, it's more of a personal thing, I guess, but I really don't like the idea of a lot of the resources not being renewable, like that our map is actually limited in a certain point we would just get, you know, stuck, even if we're talking like way down the line sort of thing, um, which that's what I'm thinking more long term. Uh, also, the reason that I'm dragging this as far as I am is because I don't know if it's going to chase us for a while and we sort of do want it a bit away. Um, all right, I think I'll go up this way now and then we'll wrap back around because we have dealt with one of them before and we ran away but uh, I don't know if it's worth it's like grabbing our cursed staff and trying to actually kill it because yeah, even here it's going to be sort of close isn't it should we just deal with it uh, I am curious to see what it drops so that's a reason uh, where is our cursed staff yeah, I think that's the only way we're going to be able to deal with it. Um, we may need better food for that. And I guess we'll put our armor on. Yeah, I think we'll be okay though, that. Get our food up so we can use the staff. Yeah, we may as well deal with it. It's too slow, otherwise we have to lead it for ages. Um, excuse me, because I'm going to have to go into the dark here, so... I mean, it's not too dark, it's not as dark as it can get, but... Yeah, I, I've forgotten to brighten it up in recordings a couple of times, so... Yeah. Okay, can we... Alright, so that works. I don't know how much health it's going to have, but... This is, uh... I think this is all we can really do. With that beam breath thing, I don't think it's very realistic to get close. I mean, we might be able to get, like, a couple of shots off and then roll, but... 
we can use our cursed staff once. Um, hopefully we can actually get a staff for ourselves. Craft, uh, actually craft some, like get the fire staff would be really good. Um, just need to figure out the rest, red dust. Still not sure how that works. Get a bit of a chomp going. Yeah, so the night was changed to have this blue tint, as you can see now. But I think that just makes it darker, unfortunately. Which, uh, it is good. You got this torch option now, but it's still not very bright and, you know, you can't fight. <laughs> Oh, did I just hit that? I think it did. Oh, I wonder if you could use this to harvest trees. <laughs> you could have like one of these spawn and then just have it like take down all your trees for you. That'd be kind of cool actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, what do we get? Oh, pumpkin staff. Wow. All right. That was actually really kind of worth it then. Does this... Sh oh, wow. It does. Cool. Okay. Well, that's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty cool then. Uh, it's, yeah, alright. I don't think that means I'm going to be planting pumpkins again, but if I want to for that option, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, for our average farm, I don't think it's going to be worth it. <laughs> like, uh, I guess we'll keep those on us, move those out, eat up. Yeah, I don't really want another one of them to spawn. Oh, son of a bitch, of course. I want to grab them, please. Oh, shit. Didn't need that. Uh, I wonder what the rates are, because that's... Uh... Alright, let's just blast it, I guess. Okay, some of them just got wasted, I think. Uh, damn it. Torch is getting wasted. Uh, can we hit it with this? Oh, that does 40 damage. Ah, and it's knocking more torches and mushrooms. and Oh, we don't want it to hit that. Yeah. We really don't want to waste that. Okay. Oh, shit. How much is this using? Three? Yeah, it, um, it's pretty good though. Let's get a couple cursed staff hits in. We we're going really slow before, but we, yeah, there's no real reason for that, I don't think. Oh shit, food's low. No! Shit. Did not want that. Really don't want to lose that hive. It's like really convenient. Couple more. Oh shit. Yeah, it really blasts a lot of them. There we go. The nice thing is that we now have another one of them, so the return rate's kind of cool on those. Um, let's leave them for right now. <laughs> okay, let, let's uh, let's check out the onions. So what do we got there? Okay, we've got three. And what do these do? Is it six? Oh, okay, it is six. And got two seeds, two uh, onions. Let's just see how we go there. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, I'm think I'm I'm really not seeing a reason to do anything other than carrot for the most part. Um, other than if I guess that's going to change with um, these aren't a positive return, then it may be whatever we can get. So it is a bit mixed on that. Yeah, let's get these flowers. I don't know what these will be like. I really just um, sort of assumed everything would be renewable. Ah, damn it. I have to also be careful because if I do this too fast, you get that bug where you lose the item. Uh, I think I explained how that... Yeah, I did. I showed it with the torches. Uh, but if you happen to not see that for any reason, if two entities are the same on the ground and you pick one up, the other disappears and you don't pick it up. So it's not great. Um, I should have counted them so we had a more clear picture of how many back we got. Well, there's one blue flower. And we can plant one again. Okay. And what are we at? Ten uh, hops? I think it's hops. So, oh, we've got six at once, I guess. I guess you can get like one to six of plants. I don't know, it seems they have quite a range. Oh, I may have done that too fast there. It's, it's sort of natural to just, you know, click them all. Okay, we got ten back. Well, even's fine. Uh, we should probably make sure it saves. Let's, uh, I think we'll use, we'll put our seeds in here for right now. And we'll put plants in there. Um, let's throw the food in as well. I think we'll eat, uh, let's eat them. Uh, that's fine. I guess that is food, so why not? Um, you know what, actually, I'm just going to let myself die, I think. Yeah, I, I, I know that's sort of... It's it's very cheesy. It, I mean, I'm not like technically doing anything wrong. It's all within the game mechanics. But 
we'll keep harvesting until we die, but I, I don't want to, like, three times more, it's just, you know, that that's enough. Like, I didn't mind it when it was 1.6, that seemed odd, but with it being triple speed, I, I don't think, yeah, that's a bit much. Anyway, oh, right, so we got, what, we had 13, Let's see how many we end up with. Uh, hopefully we can at least break even. Did we not... Oh, did we do that too fast? Looked like we didn't get anything. Might have to just slow it down a little. Okay, we might be at a break even. Maybe get a little more. Okay, we've broken even. Okay, so we've got a couple more. And we got a fair bit out of that. So what do we got? Yeah, 48 from 30. So that was averaging over 3 each. Okay, um, I don't actually know what to do with wheat, to be fair. I was just growing it because we had it, but I assume you can probably, you know, make some bread, like cook or something. I uh, don't know. Yeah, we're going to need more chests. <laughs> I think they, you know, that's empty-ish, so that's fine. Carrots are the big one, though. So let's start with like a patch of, say, 10 here. See how we do. Okay. I think the highest I've seen for these normal crops is four. I don't know if you can get any more than that in one go. Okay, four. Okay, we got a positive return, so that's nice. Um, but it's still, yeah, it's pretty on the line. Like, you can see how easy it would go the other way. Yeah, let's put them there. It does look like we're going to get quite a few carrots out of this. Okay, let's do... I just grabbed two, didn't I? I guess we'll just do this patch here. Twelve. Uh, maybe eleven. I don't know if that was all filled. <laughs> but uh, we should get an idea. That's the most annoying thing about getting uh, damage taken, that it pops you over. <laughs> okay, good. Positive return. Um, it is possible these have different return rates. Um, like, the, I mean, I assume this sample size just could mean luck, but um, I'm just sort of making notes. Sort of, It is possible that there is also just different return rates. Let's uh, jump those in there. Put those in for when we die. It's all good. And let's do another little batch of 12 here. Sucks you can't do it fast. That's why I'm sort of dragging it out having to do it like this. Otherwise I'd just be like boom, 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 boom. Um, also, uh, I realized I was really doing the water inefficiently. I was able to actually speed that process up quite a bit uh, by just using one bucket at a time. Having multiple on the bar is useful for when they break. And oh, that was a quite a positive return there, so that's nice. Let's dump those, dump those, we're about to die. <laughs> One more harvest. Okay, we'll harvest the rest after we die. This is going to be a mess. Um, right, yes, yeah, so having multiple on there worked, but I realized, because you only have to click in both cases, so if you have a bucket, you click the water, you click on there, like it's, it's that simple. So the, the additional scrolling to fill up multiple, then go back through them, it, it wasn't actually faster, which um, I quickly realized, but also it's also faster because of how I set this up. It seemed like the multiple bucket thing would have been the way to go, but it was based off that really bad setup that we had. Um, but when you're like this, for example, right, you can stand around like roughly, not to quite the center, but around here, and you can click there and get like all of them. So you can sort of, you know, work your way a lot easier around without having to move as much. Um, so which wasn't bad. Um, but anyway, let's get these last carrots. It looks like parrots... Uh, parrots? Uh, it looks like carrots were definitely a positive return, I'm saying, as we fail to get multiple seeds there. Uh, although even that was close. It wasn't, but it was close, considering we missed a few. Um, but over the whole patch, we definitely had a positive return, it would seem. Throw these back on. Um, whoops. Grab those. Yeah, so... We are going to have to, um, yeah, eat while we're out, unfortunately. Just going to have to deal with that. But yeah, I, I figured while we're here, I, I don't want to deal with that bug. Unless I confirm it's not a bug. Uh, but uh, that would surprise me, considering how it is. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's grab all that out. Let's have a look at our full sort of hole here. And what have we got? Alright, we still have to replant those. And I guess I'll replant them for now. Just I think we'll have room. Um, but yeah, carrots. Yeah, they seem to be the winner. 
although this is still not a ton of food like overall we have a solid amount of food here but really this isn't even going to last that long when it comes down to it um, let's take them so uh, I don't want to leave these chests a mess necessarily uh, let's grab okay let's organize a tad um, no this can so this can be seeds we'll keep them in there this can be plants um, material and we'll keep those for tools right now we will need more of them but so that save real quick um, well, I think we'll put we'll keep these one of these starves on us let's put the others let's put our curse let's put that in there um, we've got to break those other two pumpkins so just in case and this is our food chest let's dump that in uh, we I guess to look at our hole properly get rid of that and that goes somewhere over here I think no in there that's the one ah uh, but yeah so that's sort of our food hole from that not worth it really I I well <laughs> I'm saying that a bit too bluntly what I mean is that um, based on that experience I feel like I would be just a lot better off farming bees um, so in the next couple episodes I think we may work on a setup for that because um, it just takes like it's still quite tedious as I said even with mentioning I sped it up it, it's just sort of a tedious process having to water them which wouldn't be bad but it feels like something that would be need to, you'd need to constantly keep up with um, for it to work at all like or, like the amount of time for how long that food will last I, I just don't think it's that great whereas you think back to when we actually got that hive core we got like a couple stacks there like so fast and that was with breaking the hive obviously if we get a setup where we can do that but then run away come back and it's healed itself in that you know the time to the food ratio is just gonna it's not even gonna compare to doing that so yeah it just doesn't seem that worthwhile uh, which is unfortunate um, I'm still gonna see how it goes I don't know I'll probably grow this lot I don't know if I'll harvest them immediately but yeah I was just hoping I guess for more out of that um, like I think you just have to yeah I don't know um, like if you, if you want to focus on farming in this like it's not a big deal but I sort of want to do everything which is why I want to be as efficient as possible when it comes to my food like I'd like to do farming but if I can literally spend say 10 times less time um, doing it a different way then it would be a bit silly to do that you know uh, but anyway let's see if we're gonna have to deal with another thing uh, which I don't want to but I wouldn't okay I was about to say I don't want to but I also wouldn't mind a staff so oh you bitch of course you did that no that's uh that's the worst part of this guy yeah, I guess we're losing that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, can we just sort of bombard or... Oh, I think... Yeah, we should have enough food on us. Okay, we can't quite do what he does. Can do that though. So yeah, this is actually not bad um, in terms of using this staff to do it because it's a quite a positive return in terms of getting another staff. Although I guess it's not... We don't know if it's guaranteed yet. We may have got lucky on the last two. So um, this might be something to consider in the future actually, like we could set up um, uh, some little sort of farm specifically for pumpkins and then do like a kill chamber around it, something a bit more cheesy. Um, that could be a really good way to get um, weapons really cheap, like a good staff weapon without needing to craft anything. Not to mention we can get those. That, um, yeah, I really don't hate that idea. Oh, it looks like we can get this just. There we go. Yeah, um, that's definitely something to consider actually, because these, like doing 40 damage, it's better than a curse staff, which, like, curse staff has sort of been the best weapon we've had so far. Um, where is it? I'm still, like, forgetting these chests over and over again. Uh, but yeah, that, um, that might be a good option. So, put those in. Yeah, yeah well, we'll eat that one. We've got a, quite a bit of this stuff too, so we could definitely get a couple more hive cores if we want to do that or something else. Uh, not right now, but could be good. Um, yeah, I actually quite like that pumpkin idea. That might be uh, that might be one to do. Not now, um, but uh, yeah, I'm actually really liking the idea of that. 
And yeah, so it may end up being that we do that for weapons and we do bees for food. Because all we really need to do, like, if we just come down here for a sec, uh, well, this one. So all we'd really need to do, as far as I know, is basically we'd do a line of um, campfires, maybe a bit longer than the last one, there'd be eight of them here, or here actually specifically. Um, we stand here, we would say get, we would look at the percentage of our spear, and then we'd only, we'd say do 20% of it, and then we'd walk away enough uh, to where this seems to heal, we'd come back, do 20%, and sort of repeat like that, and I, I think we'd, we'd be getting like stacks and stacks and stacks of meat so fast and as I said it only costs like wood to cook them and we can have that other batch and we can we, we could literally cook them here <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that yeah we could literally be using these to cook while we do this so that would be pretty cool actually <laughs> yeah all right uh, anyway it's taken longer than I expected to get all that sort of done so I think we will skip what I wanted to do around here since it wasn't anything crazy I mainly just wanted to move some chests and things and reposition a few things like them and but it was mainly going to be still a temporary thing not the proper base setup I think we may try and work on our base next episode actually sort of getting a structure and floors and things like that uh, but for now I'm gonna get our inventory sorted and we're gonna head out alright so I just let myself die so we could get a fresh start here um, I also made two chests. Um, I was thinking, like, I just sort of ended up making them when I was thinking about it. I won't be doing it this time, but I thought something we could actually do if we were doing that, or even just, you know, as a potential option for different things, we could always take, like, a couple chests and a bed with us. And that way we could dump all our stuff into a chest, and if we die, we'll respawn next to it, pick everything up, sort of thing. Um, I thought also, too, like, we could take chests, um, for example, if we went over here and we got a ton of stuff and it was getting full, we could put them in a couple chests, sit our waypoint down, continue doing what we want to do, um, then come back, then we can just pop back down there nice and easy sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I also just realized it's getting towards night time, unfortunately. So I think I am going to, well, we'll get our stuff back out. I did prepare an inventory. Get that. Um, Get our thing. Uh, it was in order originally. Um, we'll take a few torches. I don't think we'll really need them. Hopefully not anyway. Uh, it might be worth making a couple more actually. I say that. Uh, what is it again? It, it uses all three, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. All right, so let's get half a stack, half a stack, and a stack. We're doing pretty well on vines, fortunately. Um, what am I doing? Right. That'll do. Uh, these extra four can go up in the tool chest, I think. I just want to minimize our inventory usage the best that we can. Alright, so I think I'm going to head sort of down towards uh, where we originally spawned. And then I'll catch up with you uh, once the morning hits and then we can actually explore properly. But I don't think, uh, yeah, it's just not very bright, so I think that's what we'll do. Oop, forgot about this guy. Should we actually try and... Oh, what did he just damage? Oh, he can hit the trees. Yeah, uh, oh, wow, wow, whoa, what the hell? Okay. Alright, no, we're just gonna run, I think. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, I don't wanna waste that. Oh, I thought there might be a sapling. Okay, yeah, I was thinking we could actually kill that guy, but... That just took 50% of our health in one go. Oh. We wasn't planning on mining. It's a little bit hard to pass up these though. Oh my god. Holy crap, this thing's still here. That must have been that other one. And look, it actually can damage those. That's really interesting. So what happens if we, yeah. Oh. Could we use this to, yeah. I really think we can do that. I think we could actually really do some crazy harvesting, but it's risky. But look at that! Oh man, if that bug wasn't a thing though. Sometimes it seems like you do get a few more, like it actually does group them up slightly. Most of the time not though. Like if you saw my torch example, that was pretty set. Oh man. This is not good. Oh, okay. Let's um... 
We could probably do this. I don't know if it's the best idea, but... Oh, could we make it hit that? Can we... Oh, this is, um... Oh, no. Alright, it can't actually hit that. Interesting. But these? This could be easy harvesting. Oh, we've got to be a little bit careful, I think, though. Yeah, because we don't want it to harvest more than one at a time. I'm trying to keep the torches down so that it doesn't look, uh... Doesn't look bad to be recording, but... Right, so if we stand here... Can we... Oh, I think we're playing it a little bit risky here. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a bad idea, though. Like, it does pretty good damage to these, um... Iron ores. And it would be pretty much perfect if there, there wasn't the bug currently. Okay, don't know... Sh oh, shit. Alright, I feel like we're playing with fire a little bit. <laughs> In a somewhat literal way. Alright, I think we're gonna... We're gonna move away from that idea right now. It's an interesting one, but... Oof. Hell, uh, the food is just flying down. This is definitely somewhere we need to come back to. That's for sure. Oh, alright, we've got some flowers here. Some, uh, carrots. Guess we'll get these, uh, may as well. I feel like our inventory is going to fill up way too fast here. <laughs> Let's grab those. Uh, since it's still pretty close to our area, I think we probably should avoid the ones that aren't grown fully. fully. But, I don't know. Yeah, no, it probably if they don't actually have a positive return, we probably want to be a little bit careful with stuff like that. Oops. I don't know how to go about this. I wish I could, like... I guess if I place one down before I stop doing anything, something like that. Uh, I was still planning on waiting, but that sort of just happened, so... Alright, I guess I'll, uh, I'll chill here for a little tiny bit. I'll uh, get these pink trees while I wait for the sun to come up. Alright, looks like the sun's coming up. We have, uh... Can stop using that. It's still, uh, it's a tad dark. It's uh, getting there, though. Grab those. Grab that. Yeah, see, this is the problem with the inventory. It's like, it's, or we may have to be a tad more selective about it. Ooh, sunflowers. Ah, I don't know if they're, I don't know if they grow higher or, let's try and grab one. Okay, we did get seeds. I still don't know if this is fully grown or not. Okay, we got seeds though, so that's all right. Very nice. Uh, these I'm still not sure about. Uh, I do want to get some more of these pink trees, like, I feel like honestly getting the apple and... The oh shit, 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 shit! Oh, man. Did that thing just keep following us? I guess now that it's light, we may as well deal with it. Um... Oh, it's... The, oh man, look at that. It's got some reach. I think there's real potential for using that for harvesting, like, I, I keep saying it's just like... I can just imagine, like, setting up a massive, massive amount of trees, getting one of these going, and, oh man, that could be crazy. This food, uh, situation's not great, though. Uh, I think, um, we'll avoid harvesting any wild pumpkins, too. And that's, um, that's interesting to see. I assume that the wild ones just grew regardless, but maybe they actually require rain if they haven't fully... Um, formed. Oh shit. Okay, we're harvesting things here I don't want to harvest. <laughs> okay, that's uh... Oh shit, we're at a thing again. Oh wait, stand out of the... Oh man. This is not going so well. Let's grab all of those. Oh man, can't get the apple. How many more hits do you need? There we go. Uh, Alright, we're going to throw those out. Uh, we're gonna have to just eat through some stuff. I think we can probably... Ah, crap, I really need that staff. What do we throw? Oh, I don't want to throw them. Let's get the saplings. Um, we can eat some cherries. Although even they... Ah, oh, man. Okay, what do we got? There's really nothing else to throw out, is there? This, maybe? That's... well... No, it's probably not worth more than that. 
Uh, we have slots for the red flowers, don't we? Yes, yeah, so we can harvest that. Um, oh, I picked up. Whoops. Let's eat those. Yeah, they, those really need to buff the watermelons. Ah, man, I didn't think we'd get quite this full so fast. I guess in that regard, we can like... Wait, what is that? Oh, wow, that really does show on the map, eh? Our farm. I guess we can test our beacon here. Like, um, so this is sort of where we're up to in our exploration. So, if we put a one of them down. Now, let's see. Can we pick it back up? That's the question. Yes, we can. Okay. So, I guess I could do this, and now I will run back, empty this stuff, and then come back here, or... Yeah, I guess that's okay. Oh, we've got some carrots. I guess we can grab a few things that we already have on us. Um, bamboo, we have one slot open. Oh, do we need... Because I think you can you can grow this, can't you? Yeah, the saplings. Um, we could turn... I was going to say we could turn them into sticks, but no, they don't stack higher. Uh... I guess we, yeah, no, I guess we just need to head back, don't we? There's not really, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure out a way to do it, but no. Okay. That's too bad. Oop, couple more of these we can actually grab. Ooh, we should try killing one of those things. Uh, on the way back. Ooh, other blue flowers. Yeah, because we haven't been able to kill one of those, but yeah, we can probably actually do that no problem with these stars. Oh, we need to kill these guys at some point too. That's another thing. Uh, which, uh, yeah, we can probably, yeah, really, these these um, staffs are actually really opening some opportunities for us. Oh, nice, that's getting watered. That That's one, like, I wish it rained more, actually, because it rained once when I was doing this, but, man, I think we've only had rain, like, two or three times throughout our whole, like, 34 days already. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to dump all this stuff off and head back. Alright, so we're all packed away pretty much, but yeah, we're going to take even less this time, I think. So, we'll take a fresh staff, since we are adventuring. We're going to take this food, and we're not going to bother with tools. Um, I think I just need to make that choice, like, if there's stone, gold, anything, we'll worry about it later. Um, not going to get any trees, like, I think we need to go, that's just, I, I know I already said it, but it's sort of... I don't know, I thought I was trying to be okay about it, but even then, we just filled up so fast, so... This is what we're taking, best we can do, I think, and, uh... Right, now, back to the... Back to the waypoint. Oh, you know, just uh, on that note, of before, it does seem like maybe the wild ones, if they aren't already grown, they may actually need to get this, because I really, this one's been like that for ages, so... Yeah. Something to keep in mind, I guess. Oh, shit, hello. Oh. Aren't you very, uh, friendly? Just trying to jump up and say hello. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is pretty nice, actually. Yes, yes, you always need food. Um, but yeah, we might be able to get some other armor here. I'm not sure if it's a 100% drop or not. Uh, we may also want to try kill a bear, because I don't think we've done that. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, so maybe it's different... Yeah, I... Huh. I mean, it's obvious, but I guess it was just... Um, I thought maybe they dropped the full set. And maybe there wasn't actually, like, a full thing for the wolf stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very nice. More armor. And does that increase speed? Slightly raises speed. So if we have a full set, does that raise it even more? Like, I wonder if it stacks. I assume it would, but... Don't know for sure. Uh, but with the exception of that stuff, I guess, yeah, we're going to be going for just organic, so... And, uh, I plan to eat through the cherries. I'm just trying to get as much inventory space as possible. And, yeah, we'll only harvest the fully grown stuff, I think. I think that's... Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. I went too fast on that, and I think I lost them. Ah. Really need to be careful with that until it's fixed. Especially with, you know, limited resources around. We get some wheat, very nice. Uh, we may as well get this watermelon. I don't think there's going to be a giant watermelon monster. Oh, they were on like the same tile, that was weird. I was trying to get the carrot, but <laughs> no matter, lost one onion. Get that, we can get that. 
ah, we need these, but I think I'm going to skip them for this trip. Um, we're going to stick with sort of materials, vegetables, because um, these aren't going anywhere, fortunately. I mean, technically not that these are either, but, uh, you know, I think it's just better we have a more focused trip. Oh, some of these, are <laughs> we're going to have to come back to these at some point too. Uh, hopefully, yeah, we're sort of making our way down there. Stuff to grab on the way. I figure we may as well look around since it, we're recording anyway. Uh, we may want to do a mushroom trip as well, which, <laughs> phrasing. Because, um, yeah, that, that could also be quite good. Um, but it's also one where I think that's what we need to do. Like, we're going to have a mining trip, have a food trip, mushroom. Like, we need to be more focused. Otherwise, yeah. The, I mean, even now, the inventory's filling up there. Um, yeah, we only used 8% of that um, on that wolf, so... I think we're okay dealing with stuff now. I, I'd like to see what bears drop. I want to see what those weird cactuses things drop. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else around. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. I didn't realize there's quite a snowy patch here. Oh, yes, yes. Always with the food, man. It's crazy. I mean, we're dealing with the three times thing at the moment, obviously, but still, it's just, it just drains so fast. Oh, hello, sheep. We won't kill you. I don't know if we can maybe lead you to the base someday so we can have more than one. That'd be cool. And unfortunately, it is getting night time. That's the one down. Like I mentioned about just waiting around um, till morning. And I think that, that works fine. The problem is I have to waste a night's worth of food to do it now. So that's unfortunate. Oh, there is a lot of mushrooms. I don't think, yeah. We'll, we'll wait until we do a proper mushroom trip, I think. That's probably the way to go. Let's move some of this out. Don't really need them on the bar. Grab that. And I think we're just about somewhere here. Ooh, we don't need them right now. Uh, I really wish the icon on the map was smaller so we could tell where our thing was. Uh, we ran into that. Okay, I think it's more... Uh, all right, it's getting nighttime anyway, so I'll find it and oh there it is All right, uh, I think I'm just gonna chill here for the night Yeah, I mean it's not even I don't know. What do you think it's, it's this is pretty well lit isn't it? Let's try this for a little while Just uh, when we find something place the torch And then get that and can we so I wish there was a way to like it doesn't seem like you can pick up a torch with a torch in your hand, which is unfortunate because that way we wouldn't have to sort of have that moment where it gets too dark sort of thing. Uh, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, I think we can see well enough. Like, it's fine for me. I'm just worried about the recording, but I think it should be okay. Uh, I mean, I can brighten it up, as I've said, but I've already forgotten that a couple of times. So, like, and, and I can still see fine in the dark. And I don't know. I, I don't um, look at the footage as much on YouTube, so I'm not sure how well it actually turns out um, you know for the average person just watching it um, different devices you know all that kind of stuff um, like for me it's rendered like I, I do everything as high quality as I can manage it's always recorded in 2k resolution and the bit rates are um, higher than necessary and stuff like that um, yeah we want to go back to these pigs are ooh let's uh okay let's let's put a couple torches down and we'll kill this person, that person, pig, because I don't know if we've done that before. Um, I'm just curious what they drop. That's uh, things like that. You never know if they also drop armor. Like they could drop leather, but also armor. I mean, you never know. Oh wait, no, we have. I think we have killed one of them before. Now I'm seeing the lard. I do remember that. And yes, they do drop leather. So that's uh, that might be worth getting a pig farm for. Like if we get a proper one, it'd be pretty cool. Let's grab our torches back and flip over. Yeah, I really wish these were brighter still. That would be good. Uh, we won't kill any of the normal wildlife, but I did want to grab these cactuses if we could and those. Um, I don't know. We may have actually needed a tool for that. Or it's, I don't know if it's going to harm us or... Really? Let's, uh, let's actually try and kill one of these things. I don't know how much health they have. Oh, not that much. And they give slimy meat. Oh, okay. So I guess their nest might be something worth 
looking at as well. Um, so yeah, we... Okay, we, I guess we can. It says it's doing... Oh shit, no that's... Ah, oh, that's damaging our armor, isn't it? Not worth it. Uh, we could take it off and do it, I guess. Because um, that way uh, we can regen health, we can't regen armor. <laughs> that's sort of the thing with that. See, that was... Oh, they only took one. We don't have any armor, do we? Yeah, so that's only taking one, even though it says five. That's not at all worth damaging our arm for, that's for sure. Especially when we can just do that. Alright, that's something to keep in mind for future reference, because we sort of smashed our arm up way more than I would have liked to descend. Alright, continuing on. Uh, our inventory is holding up better this time, that's for sure. Except, well, I was going to say, we didn't pick up our waypoint, did we? Okay, I better go grab that. Alright, continuing on. Um... Hello, Piggy. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way to actually sort of lead them. Like, I mean, we can do that. I could very slowly lead them up to our base. Um, which may not be, like, if that's the only option, it, it wouldn't actually be that bad if we're talking about only needing a couple and then we can breed them. Uh, I'm just not sure how that works. Like, I know that's a thing. I just don't know how it actually works. Like, if we have to feed them or if we need some sort of specific breeding pen thing or... Well, I don't think I've uh, actually seen anything like it. These guys again. Um, I don't know what... Oh, yeah, those guys are dangerous, man. They are really dangerous. Oh, crapper. That was the wrong way. I've got to say, the desert... Deserts are not friendly in this. Not at all. Oh, we have some blue flowers. Let's grab those. Uh, let's go all of them. Why not? They're a little bit. They're a fair way away. Uh, I won't worry about that. Some some things we may make exceptions for that aren't fully grown since we're uh, a decent way away. Okay, got some more stone. Okay, just a little patch. Ooh. Okay, got a. Wow, quite a group of those together. That's uh, that's pretty nice. Sorry about that. Probably a little awkward cut there. Uh, yeah, let's try and. Did we get a... Alright, we've got six seeds. Uh, I don't know what these are for, but I like sunflower seeds, so that's cool. And yeah, we'll harvest those. Oh, we've got a pack of pigs there. Very nice. Oh, yeah, there's a few of them, isn't there? Uh, sorry about that. Let's put a torch down. Mm, I'm, oh, I'd really like to do something with them. Maybe we'll look into animals next episode. I feel like I already said that we're going to do something, but... I think that would be a fun thing, because it's sort of something that ha I haven't explored at all in this game so far. Um, in terms of making a farm of them or anything like that. There's one wild one there, so we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, but this pack here, this is, um, yeah, this is interesting. Oof, we're uh, playing it a bit close there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they took too many though. One more? Maybe one more? <laughs> Maybe one more? Alright, let's say three more then. Okay, there we go. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't want to spook them if I get too close, because they're in a nice group here, but... Yeah, we're a long way from base. But I, I feel like it wouldn't be hard to actually get them over there. Um, they really do work in a very consistent way from what I've seen. Like, if you go behind this one, it will go straight. You go at an angle, it will go the opposite angle. So, if they hold to that consistency, I mean... I don't think it would be that crazy to move these all the way to our base. Um, this could be a good... You know what? Let's put our waypoint here. This is a pretty nice group. So, yeah, let's um, let's mark that for next time. That's uh, I think that'll be good. And fortunately, it's also morning, so that's nice. I'm going to grab these with some risk. Oh, yeah, I just wasted them. Don't want to get too close. <laughs> Grab that. Oh. Oh. I feel like that was something I'd forgot about. Right. You can actually get grass seeds from these. I don't know what grass seeds amount to. Do they just grow them little tufts? Or... Hmm. But yeah, um... I think we're going to try and get them back to our base next time. Oh, there's more of them. Wow, alright. Let's kill this dude again. Because uh, we can stack up the items, which is nice. And it really doesn't take that many, like, it's a, it's a solid food um, 
five of those meat things, that's like a full thing. Uh, I think they give like, is it 25, 35 or? It's something pretty good though. So I think that's probably worth it. And yeah, we got, uh, yeah, if we can get them all, like that would be really good. Um, like it might be a slight pain, but I, I really don't think it's going to be that bad to actually do it. Because um, when I was just moving around that sheep, it, it was really consistent with how it worked, so... I don't think it would be a problem at all, actually. Which I, I probably shouldn't keep repeating, because it'll, it'll be a real pain in the ass. Somehow something will go wrong with it. But, um, yeah, I mean, because that's something I, I hadn't really looked at in terms of food either. It might end up being that if we can make leather and food from these guys, like, we might have, you know, all the um, armor and food that we need. Because we can make the leather set, which, if I'm recalling correctly, the leather, the normal leather set also gives the speed bonus like this, which is really nice. So, yeah, that could, uh, that could be quite good. And we are about out of space, it would seem, but let's kill this wolf. I don't... Ooh, there's a... Let's try and bring one over. I think there's multiple of them, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if we've actually killed one of these. I'm saying wolf, but this is more like an arctic wolf. Um which I assume may be different. And these starves are great. I think we're going to actually have to do something with them in the future. Like these are 40 at a time and we can get them by just killing like pumpkin dudes. That's uh, that's no joke. And yeah, I guess we just got pelts. I think we may have actually killed one of them. I can't, I'm, my memory is really selective. <laughs> and I have a short attention span, so it sort of goes one in one and it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're getting a bit full there, aren't we? Oops. Oh, I guess saving's good. But I don't think we'll want to stay out too much longer. It's, uh, whereabouts are we? Right, we aren't too far away. Let's, um, maybe we'll just check this area out, try and fill this out a bit more. And yeah, we can pick up a few things. Oh, so this, this, yeah, I think I harvested some of the small ones without meaning to. Oh, do we not? Oh, uh, I thought we had enough room. Does that mean I didn't pick up some previously? Oh, okay. Um, we could throw out one carrot seed. I don't really want to do that, but... Um, oh, alright. Maybe a wheat seed? I don't... Wait, where did that go? What just happened? Did it... What did I just do? Oh, I just switched spots. Okay, did that disappear then? Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. I don't know if I should do that, but I feel like I want to get these. Yeah, I don't know if that was... <laughs> Alright, it's probably just time to head back when that happens, I think. Um, oh, yeah, there's more flowers. These things, we want to get some of them as well. Uh, I guess we can try the cactus juice. What does it uh, give us? Oh, okay, it's nothing special. Alright, let's try and get these. Oh! Okay. I thought that did damage to us last time we tried that. Or maybe... Because huh. I'm thinking that um, these might be the way to get fire dust. Like, I wonder if you can use these in the grinder. That would be my first guess. Um, oh, I'd love to kill that guy, but we don't have the space. Oh! We could totally annihilate these guys with one of these. That could be a huge source of iron. Oh, that could be good. Um, you know what? I'm going to head back to the base, unload, and we'll head out for one more trip. Uh, it might be pushing the episode length, but I'm quite enjoying this, and we get to discover some things. Uh, I think we'll specifically try and, um, maybe we'll bring two stars and actually just try and kill a bunch of stuff, load up on goodies, and see how that goes. Oh man, there is quite a bit of accessible iron. We're definitely going to have to do a, a mining trip. Uh, that won't be this time. We'll, um, I think we'll go organics again. Let's, uh, ooh. Wait, we won't be able to get the seed, will we? Alright, let's, um, we'll aim towards that stuff on the way back. Oh, wait, they must be different. I thought they looked a little different. Oh, I thought that was, that's not them. What is that? Fire blossom seeds. Burning root. Oh, okay, they are different. Crap, is there something we can eat? How much does this give us? Alright, well, it was worth a test. Okay, burning... Ooh, okay, they are different. Hmm. Okay. 
something to test. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, friends. Uh, hello. Didn't, uh, didn't quite mean to do this. Oh, and there's a bear. Okay, we may want to head back up there. That could be really good once we have some inventory space. Yeah, we're not far from our base, actually, so let's, uh... And that. Okay. Alright. Very nice. This is... Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's really close. We can do that. Alright, so I'll, um... I'll unload stuff. And we'll head back that way, I think. Alright, we should be all set there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a full trip. Um, this is actually getting a bit longer than I was intending. I'm trying to keep the episodes more in the 40 minute mark. Uh, but it's probably already about there. So I think we're just going to clear off these guys up here. And maybe if there's anything else close. Uh, if we can hit this thing. Oh, it seems we can't. Okay. I guess we aren't dealing with that with this. That's alright though. Let's uh, go up here. We can get that bear. I think that'll be a good one. Oh, there, there we are. <laughs> Hello. A bear is something I actually don't think we have beaten before. Uh, I could also be forgetting, because it would have been season one if we did. But I don't think so. But this staff, man, it's um, it's pretty damn good. Oh, they slow down the water. That's uh, good to know. Oh shit, right. I sort of, I'm, I, it's like, it's, um, I should be aware of it, but I sort of get really disconnected from the fact that I actually do need food. Oh, pray, that's getting a bit close. Get that. Yeah, need to make sure we actually have full um, food before we go into a battle, I think. Because otherwise that's just not really smart. <laughs> uh, it does seem to be good to keep in the water though. That, that does quite well. Get our food. And then a quick roll. <laughs> okay, these are definitely shit. Ooh, that wasn't good. These definitely have a lot more health than uh, wolves. Oh wow, okay. That was weird. I wonder why I did that. There we go. Oh, it looks like same drops as well. Oh, wow. 14. Not bad. Alright. That was more than I expected. And let's eat up. Yeah, carrots are really nice. Getting health as well, like... Sort of hard to deny how good they are at this point. Ooh. Yeah, we need to be careful with that. Like, we're better off taking damage than damage to our armor. Uh, I also wish that you could shift-click them back on. That would be nice. Because they're shift-clicking for some things, but not everything. Let's get our staff back out. Hello? Yeah, let's get these guys, why not? These, um, these take way less hits. And I don't know how much... Yeah, I don't know what the maximum meat you can get is from these guys. Or the... I mean, we got 14 then, but who knows if that's the most you can get. Uh, yeah, I guess these do take still a fair few. Ooh, very nice. You get the armor, though. That's so good. That definitely makes them a lot more worth it. Like, less hits. I guess a lot less meat, though. Um, I am curious about how some of that works. Like, can you farm these at all? Uh, I mean, like, breed them? I wouldn't expect so, but... Yeah, I'm just, there's a lot of things about the game I'm curious with in that regard, about how renewable things are, how much we can do certain types of farms and things. Roll, eat. <laughs> yeah, once again, I let that get low, didn't think about it, even though it was just like a second ago. As I said, I have a short attention span, <laughs> for better and worse. Okay, none that time. And I think that's, yeah, we should have brought more food if we wanted to do more, shouldn't we? That might get a little dicey doing one more. Uh, I guess worst case is we have to eat a couple of them. Alright, let's try and get this last wolf. And I think that'll do it for this one. Uh, but yeah, we've got some armor. We've got uh, quite a few more seeds. Like, we haven't planted any of them, but... I think we've uh, got some decent resources. Um, we, don't, we didn't get vines or stone. or like. There's still a lot more to do, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, at some point, I may end up doing some... Um, off camera in terms of just going on like generic mining trips like if it's a safe area we've already been to then I may want to actually do a little myself um, just do the more mundane stuff like if we find an area with iron then it's like all right I'm just gonna go there get iron come back you know um, like I'm trying to keep most things on camera but I also want to cut as much as possible which is somewhat contradictory but you know because it's just it's so easy for time to fly like this like I've already 
I don't know how long this episode will be, but I've been recording for an hour and 10 minutes, for example, so, you know. Um, it's also sort of unfortunate right now having the food draining as fast as it is because we're just flying through it. Um, like, we, we stacked up some nice food from this, but you know what I mean? Uh, yes, I also had to make another food chest. I moved these to here. I put those in here since we're going to have to figure out how those work. But, um, uh, yeah, so the shadow... Oops. The shadow essence is stacking up nicely. I think we'll buy a couple more hive cores. Um, but I would like to get the advanced miner sooner than later as well. Because that would be really good. But uh, I think we'll like pack up our stuff for right now. Stand things off. Uh, I, I've been liking to just put things away and keep uh, all blank. But yes, um, let's try them out sometime. We've got the raft to try out. There's, there's still a lot of things to do. Um, but yeah, we've actually got a fair bit of food. But it feels like we got a lot more from that trip than the effort put into farming. And torches can go here. There we go. I'll probably let myself die after this, but um, yeah, I think we're going to end on there. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think we did pretty well. As I said, we, we got a fair chunk of resources here. Um, from that quick like thing, look at that. Like that meat, that adds up to being way more that. That's like... You know, if that was carrots, you'd be out to here sort of thing in terms of food value. So I think um, the pigs are going to probably be the answer to our food. Uh, I like the bee idea still, but the pigs have the potential to be like completely safe, more passive. Um, it's just going to come down to how breeding actually works. I, yeah, I really don't know. It, it is possible that they just breed. Like if you just have a bunch of pigs together, maybe it just happens over time. Uh, which would mean the more the better in that case, but I just I just don't know how that works at the moment um, But yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed I don't know how interesting this ended up being uh, I took way longer to harvest than I intended and but I think we had a pretty good uh, trip here We're definitely gonna want to head back there and get them and I think I will sort of set that we will try and do that next episode um, So we'll, we'll probably just make like a basic fenced area here somewhere. It'll probably be temporary um, depending how long that takes though, we may then do some work here. Um, I'd like to just at least get a rough thing going. I'm thinking um, we may want to put the wall here so we have a, a decent little gap here before our farm. But so something like going like that, around here, down, and sort of bringing it around like that. So we've got a little gap but we're sort of above the village but yeah, sort of something like maybe the wall, wall will be here, for example go from there, go around here, um, you know, something like that. Uh, so we have a decent area. We'll move the chests off maybe to the sides, um, split them out. We have our beds. Uh, we might move these up here. We may keep our cooking area somewhere in the corner or something. Uh, I don't know. It's still going to be sort of a, it'll be a step forward, but still semi-temporary before we sort of go proper. Um, need to figure out storage a bit because it feels like this could really get a bit crazy. Um, but we should probably also look at actually getting, where are they? Yeah, so these would be good to get and these are actually, like if we can get the pigs going, that's fine. Iron, you know, these are all things we can actually get. It's just the plant extract. No clue how that works. Um, but you know, actually I was literally just ending it, but you know what? Let's quickly see if this burning root can be put in the grinder. Because it's the only thing I can think of to get the, um, what's it called? fire dust right so let's see if that works oh it does oh okay that's both good and bad well no it's all good I said we're probably gonna waste one of them because you probably can do five or something from one of them but we'll uh we'll die and come back and see if it's fire dust because if so that does give us a path to do some stuff but I don't know if that's a plant or not because we just picked up that one, but I don't know if that means they're more limited and we're going to have to sort of go searching for them. Uh, but even if that is the case, we can easily just run around and collect some up for, you know, a few things here. Like, it's not like we needed a crazy number of them. Uh, but that's the other thing. We need to figure that out. Because that'll allow us to step forward here completely with most things. Like, we'll be able to make that. No, that's the bean paste one, so I guess it's that, but yeah, so if we can make that, then we can do this. We can get the apiary, we can get the cooking cauldron, uh, we already have that. Um, this one, I don't know, it would be curious to see how big they get, but um, 
because that it, I think at least the iron ones it would be better than you know stacking up insane numbers of those and yes it is in fact fire dust awesome okay so and it was one from that so what do we need we need like eight from that they need like four okay so you do need a bit um, hopefully there's something you can grow but uh, even if not we just have to go around all the little magmary looking things that we can find and yeah that could be good uh, I don't I guess these aren't related but I'm gonna keep them here for now because why not this is a mess um, but yeah it's good to know that and you know we sorted out the coal and that so yeah it should be good uh, but anyway, as again thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any suggestions ideas for anything to try and all that good stuff and yeah I will see you in the next one bye bye